And as Venezuela holds a day of consultation on community projects to improve the welfare of the people and address their needs, from Caracas, our correspondent Gleis Quesada has more details on today's events. Yes, thanks for the time and the contact for all of our audience and also for Telesur English and from the South. Right now, I'm in downtown Caracas in a communal center called Jose Pilar Romero, which is one of the many uh, communal centers that are going to receive not only the voters, but also the uh, over 200 international observers that are accompanying this process. And right now, we are going to talk with one of them that is going to give us his impressions regarding this process. So, uh, welcome to tell us your English and to from the south first of all your name uh, your organization and which country do you came from so my name is Samuel Lolo I'm the chairman of uh, Mutaraku Harmony Cooperative from Nairobi Kenya so um, first of all which are your impressions regarding this process and regarding uh, the commune itself because right now you are at one of the communal centers and you uh, are able to see for yourself uh, the process the management and how they work so uh, which one are your impressions so uh, the people participation in the in the decision making of the various various projects in the community that is something very impressive like the people decide and vote which projects they want the government to fund. That's something I've not seen anywhere else, so it's something very nice. So uh, exactly regarding uh, the legal process, the consultation process itself, how do you see the management, the organization of each one of the uh, protocol steps for the voting and uh, how has been the contact with the community and the authorities for you? So I feel the, the communities are, are, are more organized. They have organized themselves into structures that uh, uh, they're basically running the structures by themselves and the government is just offering a, an overall support but in terms of uh, the people participation and the community participation the community leaders it's it's uh, just amazing and what do you take back home from this experience yes yeah, so my take home is uh, for the our Kenyan government to to adopt some of these uh, ideas and, and structures in the Venezuelan government uh, communities to let communities uh, to have more public participation with the communities to let the communities be more involved in their in the in the in the decision makings of their various uh, activities that are affecting them on a day-to-day -day basis so with the issue I'm very impressed with the issue of like the community deciding on various projects like side, doing the sidewalks, uh, rehabilitating the hospital, uh, rehabilitating some of the housing units. It's quite impressive. So thank you for your opinions and for your time with us here. Yeah, thank you very much. So yes, we continue here uh, doing this tour for all the coming centers here in downtown Caracas and also to uh, gather with the international observers who are accompanying the process. As we were saying, this is a Sunday for popular consultation and community management here in Venezuela and uh, to decide over the resources and over uh, the needs of the people. So far, that's the information. So now the signal is going back to you. Thank you, Gladys.